if you look at our energy problem, uh, I think the most fundamental issue we have had, the root cause of many of our ills, has been the single buyer, single seller setup. If you and I, Mansoor, were procuring something from the market as private sector, we'll do the most basic thing. We'll go out to the market, we'll get three competitive quotations, and we'll go with the most competitive quote, right? That wasn't happening in the power market. So we ended up procuring a lot of expensive power and we saw that sometimes we bought more than what we needed. And that has resulted in this ballooning circular debt and the capacity payments. You know that we have to make these fixed payments for the power plants we've set up. They're to the tune of you know, 450 to 500 billion now. In a couple of years, they'll reach astronomical proportions in trillions of rupees. It's incredible that we have amassed that much of a debt setting up this power complex, yet we have load shedding. We have two trillion of circular debt. We don't have an infrastructure that can carry that power to where it's needed. 30% of the country is off grid, right? 50% of the industry, despite having power connections, is running off grid. And you know what they're running? They're burning gas. One estimate suggests that we waste 82%, 82% of the primary fuel that comes in from all these terminals, the molecules we procure. Uh, some of that is wasted in the distribution transmission system, gas transmission system. Then it goes into, let's say, a power plant. The power plants have, let's say, 50, 60% efficiency. If we're lucky, they're like 30% efficient power plants running out there. We'll, we'll waste like 60, 70% there. Then it goes into our distribution and transmission system. <laughs> and you know the losses there. We lose 30 to 35% in the distribution transmission system. Then it goes to the consumer and we are not very efficient in terms of the way we use this energy, right? So 82% of the $17 billion of imported fuel is wasted in the system. Why is this happening? I just feel fundamentally that this monopolistic market where you had a single buyer buying all of the energy and power, and then you had a single seller, apart from K-Electric, all the power sold by distribution companies. And there's a fundamental problem there. They're so ad hoc that every day we're grappling with, okay, what's new? What's on the horizon, right? What they might change in the future is impossible to forecast, right? And uncertainty creates, uh, you know, un uncertainty makes capital flee, right? The government has to back off, right? Fundamentally, the key message is it, the government does not need to solve all the problems. The government needs to set up the right set of policies. It needs to regulate, right? And I always say that, you know, if you leave a $100 bill on the road, somebody will pick it up, right? So they need to put those $100 bills in the right areas where the economic, you know, uh, economy needs investment and invite a lot more of the private sector to solve some of the fundamental problems. What are the fundamental problems? Jeevo Masurakh hai, right? Losses in the system. How do you solve for losses in the system? So bring in private sector, they'll find ways, right? Set the economic imperative, set the incentive in a certain way. What's the other big problem? Comparative power. 
as I quoted you an example, everything we buy is comparative. In the private, it's the most fundamental thing we do, right? We procure and we get three quotations and we make sure we go with the best one, right? Most, most economic one. So just, I think we are better at doing common sense things than the government. So the, the government, first thing it should do is step back a bit. Other countries have done it much better than us. When you look at Bangladesh, look at some of the other developing countries, they've had, despite change of governments, the economic policies have remained very consistent. And I think if that comes in, I'm pretty confident that, you know, more investment will continue to come into the sector and yeah, we'll go further, inshallah.